In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little online window shopping of plant-based fibers such as cotton, bamboo, linen, and tinsel. I'll also be diving into Ravelry to see what sorts of patterns I have in my favorites that would be great for these plant-based fibers. So if you're in for a little window shopping, grab something cozy to drink and let's dive in. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Wool Needles Hands bonus ramble. My name is Taylor and I will be your host. Today, if you're watching this when this goes live, is Sunday and that is typically knitting podcast day. However, I am out of town with my family as you are watching this and I decided instead of doing a knitting podcast episode, I would do a bonus ramble. And I'm really excited for this video because I was thinking it would be fun if we went on a little window shopping excursion together from right here. I will put in the legwork, you get to sit back, relax, and just enjoy. And what we're going to be shopping for today, and I say shopping, I'm not necessarily going to be purchasing anything today, not unless something really strikes my fancy, but we're going to just be, like I said, window shopping, perusing what's available in the plant-based fiber realm. I'll be focusing primarily on cotton, bamboo, and linen yarns because they're the most widely available, easy to find at a good budget. Those three primary fibers will be my jumping off point for beginning our window shopping excursion. In terms of where I'm going to be looking today, I'm going to start with Amazon, then go to Knitpicks, and then go to Etsy. I'm choosing these three places because they are the most widely available options for people all over. I also feel like you're going to find lots of different variety as it relates to your budget. And then of course, there's always options when you shop this route for supporting small businesses using Amazon Small Business and Etsy. Things that I click on, things that I dive deeper into, those things will be linked down below in the description box of this video. Now just know you can do a Google search of plant-based fibers and find tons of resources and available options for shopping. Plant-based fibers such as cotton, bamboo, linen, and the like are really great for warm weather garments and items in general. They tend to be cool to the touch, they're not very insulating, and they do a great job of wicking moisture away from the skin. All of these qualities are what you look for when you're knitting garments or items that you plan to wear on your body when it's warmer outside. Now that doesn't mean that you can't use a fine wool such as merino in garments that you knit in summer because wool does also carry some temperature regulation qualities such as wicking moisture away from your skin. So it's not something that you should leave off the table when considering summer knits. However, plant-based fibers are really ideal for this. Unlike wool fiber, plant-based fiber doesn't snap back. It kind of holds the shape that you put it in and it stays there. You're not gonna get a lot of stretch. You're not gonna get a lot of pullback. You're not going to get a lot of resiliency. And so you wanna make sure that if you're knitting an item that needs to fit against the body and hold that shape and kind of conform to that shape every time you put that piece back on, these particular fibers aren't going to be the right tool for that job. And that doesn't mean it's not a good choice for knitting garments. It just means you need to consider garments that don't require stretch. Depending on the plant-based fiber that you're working with, you also want to consider drape. If the item that you're knitting requires a lot of really nice drape and you want to stick with plant-based fibers, you want to make sure there's rayon or bamboo in the mix. They are excellent for drape. They kind of mimic silk in that way as a plant-based option, and you're going to want to have them included in the blend if you need drape in the item. Linen has a nice drape, but it can also be really stiff. Bamboo has a beautiful drape, very similar to a silk-based yarn, but it doesn't hold any kind of shape and it has very little memory, so stitch patterns might get lost with a bamboo yarn. Cotton yarn can be really stiff and typically the drape is not great. However, you can make some modifications to the gauge that you're working at to achieve a little bit more of an ideal drape. Definitely swatch with the plant-based fiber you plan to use. Also, you're gonna wanna consider the washability of plant-based fiber. For the most part, plant-based fiber is washable, but a lot of it tends to shrink, especially cotton. So if you plan on knitting something with 100% cotton, you need to plan for shrinkage. And that might mean that you need to knit to a larger size and then wash it when you're finished to give it like a little bit of a pre-shrunk fit. I guess you could say. So definitely consider the fact that plant-based fibers do tend to shrink, care for them accordingly. Another thing we're gonna be paying attention today as it relates to the cotton are a couple of terms that you might see or read related to cotton. And the first one's going to be mercerized. Mercerization is a chemical treatment process that they do to the cotton fiber so that it becomes easier to work with. It does carry environmental impacts. However, it's heavily regulated here in the US and in the EU. You can learn more about the mercerization process by just doing a quick Google search. 
but it is a regulated chemical treatment process that helps create a stronger, more durable cotton yarn. You may also read the term Pima as it relates to cotton. Pima cotton is an extra long staple cotton and it's considered the finest quality cotton on earth. You may notice a hike in the price because it is a considerably finer quality of cotton. Similar goes for Egyptian cotton. Egyptian cotton I have always heard is the finest cotton in the world. However, it's right there with Pima cotton. It's a special long, extra long staple cotton that is grown along the Nile River and because of various different harvesting and agricultural practices, it's just a really excellent quality cotton and it works up into a fabulous fabric. So if you notice Giza or Egyptian or Pima show up in front of the term cotton, you're looking at some of the highest quality cotton available. But always read descriptions, read reviews, because sometimes they might list those things, but it's not 100% authentic. So you really do have to be discerning when it comes to the descriptions of the products and the reviews, especially if you're looking at Amazon, because sometimes, I mean, we all know there are some listings on Amazon that are not 100% accurate. So be kind of cautious and look out for those things. When it comes to bamboo, you might notice that a yarn is listed as bamboo. There is 100% bamboo or 10% bamboo, and it just says bamboo. But you also might notice that some yarns include rayon from bamboo, which means that the rayon that is included in the yarn is actually made from bamboo. You may also hear the term viscose. Now, viscose is a fiber that comes from the cellulose of bamboo. Now, viscose and rayon are called natural fibers. Like they kind of fall in this gray area because there is obviously a man-made element to them that creates this new fiber from the cellulose of bamboo. Um, so I would say that viscose and rayon, you know, err on the side of natural, but if you're looking for something 100% natural, they're probably not going to be it. But I think that they're a fantastic option if you're trying to use as natural fibers as possible and you need something within your budget. Viscose and rayon, if they are derived from bamboo, which they most typically are, are a really great option for a near natural fiber. I'll link to all of these sources where I'm kind of gathering this information for you. I'll link to that down in the description box so you can read further and be a little bit more informed. But for a quick blow by blow and kind of something to get us started for our little window shopping trip, I think that should set us up for success. So without further ado, let's go ahead and turn over here. I'm going to be working from my computer here. You're going to see my screen and then a little circle with my face. And we're going to just do some window shopping together for those particular items. And then we're going to hop over to Ravelry and see what sorts of patterns I have saved in my Summer Knits favorite bundle and kind of get some ideas of things that we can knit with some of the things that we find. I will also be linking to my summer knits favorites bundle down in the description box as well okay let's go ahead and get started so let's go over here okay here we are in front of my sunny window i have my coffee and i'm ready to do some window shopping i'm launching this on the wool needles hands website as kind of like our home base of operations here now like i said i'm going to go to amazon etsy and knit picks those are going to be the three retailers that we're browsing today and i have my shopping list over here plant-based yarns cotton yarns bamboo yarns you know, we'll see what else we can find. Okay, so we are on Amazon right now and I just typed in plant-based yarn to get us started. Uh, let's see, cotton yarn. When I type in cotton yarn, I do notice that blends will pop up with that. So let's just see what we have. Okay, so now a lot of us might be familiar with Lily Sugar and Cream. That's a cotton yarn that you can get at Walmart. You can get it on here on Amazon. You can get it at Michaels and Joanne and all of that. It's a really inexpensive 100% um, cotton yarn that's great for making dishcloths and things like that. And I know that a lot of people tend to think that that's really what cotton is. Um, but that kind of tends to be lower on the quality end, and that's because it's not intended to be used to make fine garments, right? It's supposed to be very functional and home items, things like that. Okay, we have Lion Brand 24-7 Cotton. Let's see what this is all about. I've heard of this, I've not looked into it too much. This is um, a worsted weight, 100 gram balls. I'm assuming it's 100% cotton. The material says cotton. 24-7 cotton is a worsted weight mercerized 100% natural fiber. The mercerization process gives the yarn incredible color and sheen, which will last through multiple wash cycles. Choose from a variety of 37 colors, which I think is fabulous. Okay, so this is a mercerized cotton. Like I said earlier, mercerization is kind of like the super wash of cotton. Um, it makes it, gives it like a luster. It makes it pretty split resistant. Um, and break resistant. It kind of just strengthens the yarn overall. So this is a mercerized cotton and it says there that it comes in a large variety of colors. I'm wondering if there's a way. This is one skein, 24 seven cotton. You have all the colors available right here. You can get a one pack or you can get a three pack. 
Um, the price is, you're gonna have to pardon my internet. It's a little slow today for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is, okay, this is a really great option. These, I'm gonna look at some of the reviews. It's really important, and this is what's great about Amazon, is to look at the reviews, see what people are saying about the yarn. Knitters are very vocal about their yarn. They're going to be honest, <clears throat> if it is an honest review that wasn't like a free product or something like that. I don't really, I take those like, this was given to me for free, and this is my review. I take those with a grain of salt. Um, pretty good cotton yarn. I love the color options of this yarn and um, the fact that it isn't synthetic. Cotton yarn, in my experience, um, tends to ha not have enough slip. Okay, so this person is mentioning that this is a little bit more sleek and uh, slick, and she likes that it isn't synthetic. Um, be careful if you're looking for something 100% natural, untouched, just nature, all of this. Um, mercerized cotton is obviously going to have a man-made element to it because of the chemical treatment that has that it's undergone. I don't have a problem with that, but just so you know, there is an additional process being done there. Um, not continuous yarn. Okay, this is gonna have something to do with knots. Um, in the ball, I was able to get, okay. The yarn is not one continuous thread, rather a bunch of maybe foot long strands put into a ball. Okay, that's a problem. Um, that's not usable. I completely agree with this person. Oh, it looks like it was coming apart and fraying. Do you see that? Edit. I was able to get a replacement for the defective yarn and the ball of yarn had no issues. I didn't have to send the original back, um, so that made the process even easier. Changed my rating from a one star to a four star. Okay, so the customer service was good there and it seems like that was just kind of a freak thing. Great yarn and it came the next day after I ordered it. That's always nice. I'm happy with my purchase. The color, economical cotton yarn. Um, you need to understand yarn to understand why some of the complaints here are silly. Interesting. I would read that whole thing for now, but I'm not going to do that. Um, you should definitely take the time to read reviews like this. I like that this is a five-star review and this person's probably going to provide some additional information about yarn in general that might answer some questions people have in their concerns. Okay, 24-7 cotton. I think we've done enough here. This, in my opinion, is a great option if you're looking for some nice cotton yarn for a summer garment and you don't want to break the bank. It's $7 per 100 grams. I like that. Okay, let's go back. we got a lot more shopping to do. Okay. And we're moving. This is a cotton cashmere blend that I'm seeing right here, but this video is strictly plant-based fibers, so I'm not gonna be opening that. Now, I know some of us might wanna look into this, like autumn wind cotton cashmere, go check it out. I'm not gonna link to it down below because that's not what I'm gonna be mentioning here, but you can definitely check into it. 100% um, mercerized cotton yarn, SMC Catania. What is this? This is not one I've seen. Schockenmeyer. Schockenmeyer. SMC Catania Originals 100% mercerized cotton. You get them in a pack of two. And all of these really fun colors. Oh my god. Oh, I like that. It says. The well-known and popular Schockenmeyer Catania is produced from high-quality 100% combed and mercerized cotton. Two skeins of 100% cotton yarn that has been treated to make it extra soft and glossy as silk. That's the mercerization process. This is a sport weight yarn. I feel like as I'm looking for plant-based fibers for summery garments, I'm kind of falling into that sport DK realm. I'm even kind of looking at fingering weight yarns here. I just feel like those are going to be the nicest to work with. Um, DK would be good too. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm kind of staying, I'm not staying away from worsted weight cotton yarn because that's a, also a great weight. I just feel like my preference for those lighter items are kind of moving down the weight scale to the more fine yarns. So this is good for that. It says it's easy to work with. Um, and it's also asking you to wash it on cool temperatures because you don't want to shrink it. Okay. Let's look at the reviews for this. I'm loving the color options here. I've never heard of Schockenmeyer. Um, oh, look how cute, you guys. Look at all these amigurumis that I just can't see myself coming to make, but those are adorable. All right, reviews. Before we do anything else, I want to read the reviews. Nice cotton yarn. Small, small quantity for small projects. This is going to require lots of balls to purchase if you're knitting a garment. Um, easy to crochet, would buy again. Nicely packaged, pretty bright colors. Amazing quality yarn, but I do wish it was cheaper. 
I don't think that deserves a, a star deduction, honestly. I just, whatever. Exactly as described, <clears throat> arrived immediately, we'll buy again from the seller, excellent service. Okay, things are looking good here. This looks like folks are liking it. Um, and yeah, so each ball is 100 grams. How many yards? 136 yards, not a lot of yardage there. I don't know, I think that's not a terrible price. That is obviously relative. We all kind of have our own like budgets and everything, but I don't think that's a terrible price. So if you want some nice mercerized cotton in a smaller, finer weight, this is a nice option. I like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on out of here. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Okay, okay. This is one, this um, Giza cotton that you're seeing right here. I saw this earlier and this really piqued my interest. Now, remember I mentioned to you Giza that it references Egyptian cotton, okay? One of the highest quality sorts of cotton that you can get. Now, if you look at this, look how shiny that is, how much of a luster it has. I would like to know if this is mercerized. Oh yeah, it's right there, mercerized Giza cotton. Okay, so this tells me that whenever you see, well, I don't know 100% of the time, but if you see a cotton that has that luster, it's most likely been mercerized. Just bear that in mind. Nothing wrong with that, just so you know. Finesse, Finesse Giza cotton comes in a set of two beautiful colors. Can we just, sorry, I know that's like a lot real fast, but, ooh, <gasps> I like that. Okay, I'm obsessed with these colors. You can get it in a set of two skeins or you can get it in a set of six skeins. Two skeins for 12, six skeins for 32. Well, if you're getting two skeins for $12, that's $6 per skein. Six times six is 36. You're saving some money here, folks, if you do the six skein set, especially if you're gonna be knitting a garment. I really like that orange. I'm having an orange moment right now, and I'm really liking that orange. Luxury cotton yarn is produced from high quality, 100% mercerized Giza cotton. Each skein is 137 yards. It's a super fine, so this is gonna be a sock weight, fingering weight, baby yarn weight yarn. Egyptian cotton has an established reputation for being the best cotton in the world. Its softness, strength, and premium characteristics only prove the title of Egyptian cotton as being the world's best. Giza is unique in the sense that it's grown and harvested close to the Nile River, giving it some unique qualities like exceptional softness and lightness. Giza is softer and lighter than typical cotton. Like I mentioned earlier, if you see the term Giza or Egyptian, that's kind of what you're getting there. Um, you can read a little bit more about the company here. I read through this earlier. Now, something that um, I like to read through the information that they provide you here, and then I like to read through the reviews. Sometimes if you're reading through this information and you notice that the pictures here don't show the logo of the company, but the company's talking about the product in the picture, just be weary of that. That doesn't always mean it's inauthentic. It just means you wanna kind of consider it. But I like that the pictures they're showing here obviously have the marketing and the logo and the packaging of the company. Um, you just you just have to be careful on Amazon. That's all I'm saying. All right, reviews. Sock yarn. That's a great title for this review. For those of you who are new to knitting or crocheting and haven't yet learned about gauges, this is fine. Sock yarn. Um, my only absent star is because I wish it were a little bit softer. I was going to use it for a baby project. Okay, that, that tells me, and I've heard this about Egyptian cotton too, is it's got a little bit of a tooth to it. It gives it kind of like a hearty feel. Maybe that's what she's refer referring to here. Um, who knows? This is super soft and will be nice for a small crochet knit project, lightweight and easy to work with for a finer piece. Not quite what we expected. One problem with ordering supplies like this from Amazon is that you can't feel and heft the products like you can in a craft store. We're giving this four stars because it's good quality yarn, but it wasn't the thickness we wanted. Now that's in our hands. It seems too thin for what my wife was intending. My wife said, well, I'll put it in the craft closet and maybe make something with it someday, but it's not what I expected. Okay. I think that it's good that um, this is a, a Vine customer review for a free product. Actually, all of these have been, so you do have to kind of take these with a grain of salt, but these sound very honest. Um, they weren't expecting it to be thin. So as many of us know, sock weight yarn, fingering weight yarn is very thin. And if you're not expecting it to be that way, that can be kind of disconcerting. Um, but this doesn't give me any feeling that this is not a good yarn. Um, nice, but very small rolls, soft, strong, and supple. I like these reviews. I have, okay, here's a product photo from a person who's actually purchased it. Um, if you look here, 
You see how it says Oko Tex uh, Confidence in Textile Standard 100? That's a good thing to look for, especially on cotton-based, uh, plant-based fibers. That means that they have complied with all of the major regulations and it's a good product. Um, you can read, I'll, you know, I'll link down below to information about that certification if you'd like to know more. But if you see that in a standard 100, that's a good thing. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. It's a nice looking yarn. I'm, I'm intrigued. So this is Giza from Finesse, but Finesse Giza Cotton. What's their store look like? Finesse. Air fryer liners? Velvet yarn oil sprayers? Oh, wow, these people are just... <laughs> All right, I don't know what that says about the yarn, but <laughs> you can get your... You can get your co Egyptian cotton yarn while you also purchase new fryer liners for your air fryer. It's a one-stop shop, folks. All right, let's get out of here. I still like the yarn, though. Liking this yarn, especially this color. What is this color called? What is this? Orange. It is indeed. Okay, Kobu. This is a Lion Brand yarn. I believe this is cotton bamboo. I, I don't know if it's a 50-50. Um, let's see cotton bamboo let's see what it says make beautiful knitted and crocheted clothes home decor pillows and more with our beautiful yarn 51% cotton 49% bamboo good for like small lightweight knits I wonder if it's mercerized cotton now that we know that phrase right we're gonna be looking for mercerized cotton sustainability award 2022 winner it's always good this, if you purchase this here on Amazon, okay, no, this is coming from the Lion Brand yarn store. You can see that up here. You're purchasing it from Lion Brand. Now, of course, you, you wanna pay attention to that too, because you just gotta be, you just gotta be vigilant on Amazon. I'm looking to see if it's mercerized. It doesn't say. It would say if it were, that's something to know. If it does not say mercerized cotton, it's not mercerized. And you can actually tell by looking at the photo of the cotton if it's mercerized. If, uh, mercerized cotton looks shiny. Um, Non-mercerized cotton or unmercer, just untreated cotton is not going to have a shiny look. It doesn't reflect light like mercerized cotton does. Okay, so we're down in the reviews um, and I'll show you what I mean. Like if this is a person that has used this cotton, let's go back here, oops. You can see just by looking at this garment. Well, I don't know. It kind of does have a little bit of a luster. Yeah, I will, I'll go back up and check one more time. Oh, it has a slight silky feeling. Maybe it is mercerized. But it's not breaking. That's what mercerization is, it does is it helps to prevent breaking. Good quality, so soft. Made a summer top with this yarn. Kind of hard to work with. Kept splitting, but all in all, project came out beautiful. Plant-based fibers are going to split. They don't have little cuticles that hold all of the different plies together. So you're going to get splitting if you're not careful or if you knit kind of quickly or if you're kind of poking at your yarn. Um, honestly, and I hate to say this, that's more of a user error issue. Um, and don't get frustrated if it happens to, to you. It doesn't mean you're not a good knitter. It just means that you're knitting in a way that kind of can lend itself to, to ply separation. Um, it's just gonna happen. Splitting happens with plant-based fibers. Uh, the only fiber I would say that you're not gonna get as much splitting with is maybe a hemp-based fiber because it kind, kind of tends to be hairy. But with especially with cotton, like you're gonna have splitting sometimes and that doesn't make it, that doesn't always mean it's not a quality cotton. Just bear that in mind. Okay, this gets really great um, reviews. This person says it drapes beautifully and that's a good thing to pay attention to. Read the reviews for the things you're looking for. If you're looking for drape, read the reviews and see if you see that pop up. And in fact, if you go to, um, I wanna say, you yeah, looking for specific info. Yeah, I'm looking for drape. You can search Amazon for specific info within the questions and the reviews. I type in the word drape and then here comes all the reviews and questions that have been referencing that or you know, referring to that particular thing there. So um, how does the drape in Kobu compare with Trubu? Kobu will drape similarly to Trubu since they're both plant fibers. Kobu has less sheen and a bit more body than Trubu due to the cotton content. Okay, so there's information there. Okay, Kobu. It looks like maybe not all the colors are gonna be available. This, this one here is beige, is not currently available. Okay, what is this? Anne? 100% mercerized Brazilian virgin. Okay, what is this? Circulo. 
100% mercerized Brazilian virgin cotton. This is a climate pledge friendly company, the Avanti Craft Store. Um, let's see, this is a very small, 547 yards, my lord, how, what size? I think it's a very fine yarn. 100% mercerized Brazilian virgin cotton, non-allergenic, um, 547 yards per ball, 147 grams. Let's go down here. It does have that standard 100 by Okotex. Doesn't actually seem mercerized, it's rough and fuzzy. Yarn is slightly shiny, but pretty fuzzy, which indicates it's not mercerized. Mercerized cotton is smooth, sleek, and has a sheen. It also It's also very loosely twisted, two-ply, and has quite a few chunky, untwisted, super fluffy slubs. Um, that might be a quality concern. That's not a very good photo. Um, it's fingering weight, but it's too fluffy, uneven, and undefined for things like bedspreads, but far too rough for items like baby garments. Okay, excellent. Um, this, like the color came out the way they were expecting. I think overall the reviews are really good. Um, so this is a mercerized Brazilian virgin cotton by the company Circulo. This is the Anne yarn. Lots of really good colors here. There's oh, pretty orange. Really love that. So you're getting 500 and some odd yards in each ball. It's $12 per ball. But for 500 yards, I don't think that that's too bad. I mean, I, when I say this is a good option, I have not had this in my hands on my own. Based on the reviews, I would purchase this with confidence, um, even though I haven't been able to hold it in my hands and work with it. What is 10, a pack of 10 skeins? This is Studio Sam Pure Cotton Yarn Set for Knitting and Crochet. It's a pack of 10 skeins. Okay, I gotta, I gotta keep moving on. Ooh, I like anything that says recycled cotton. Lord knows there's enough cotton textile in the world. Why not recycle some of it? Okay, Sensi, 100% recycled cotton yarn for amigurumi, knitting and crochet, macrame yarn, ideal for blanket, throws, pillows, baby dolls, projects. Okay, let's see what we got here. Sensi. It is four skeins. Really lovely assortment of colors. I'm really loving this color right here. That's a nice rustic looking yarn. It doesn't look mercerized to me. That definitely looks like it's probably just, um, you know, un untreated, natural cotton. I think if it says natural cotton, you can probably bet, oh, well, it's recycled cotton. So I guess it's hard to be certain because it's recycled, but I don't think a recycled cotton yarn or recycled cotton fiber is gonna undergo the mercerization process. Um, high quality, 100% recycled cotton, fine sport weight yarn. You get four skeins in a set. Each skein has 142 yards. Oh, I love a good nut color, like an acorn color. If you guys watched my video about, um, I don't know, I mentioned something about wanting to knit an acorn color cardigan. Look at that. Oh, I like this. I hadn't seen this before. Um, you're gonna also find a lot of this cotton yarn is uh, marketed towards like people knitting for babies. It, that's okay. You can buy baby yarn to make yourself a garment. It, you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's just marketed that way. Let's see what some of the reviews are saying here. 10 ratings. Lovely yarn. Good texture. Works up nicely in crochet. Do keep in mind that it's pretty loosely plied so your hook or needles may split it often, but I think that's standard for cotton yarn. Yes, that is absolutely true. So you're going to have a little bit of splitting. That's just the nature of working with cotton yarn. Not true to color, turquoise is more light blue. Yarn is easy to work with though. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have as much green in it as you would expect for a turquoise yarn. I don't think that, I don't know if that's a not true to color because if you go down here and you look at turquoise, that's, um, that's what the picture looked like. So, I mean, they're giving you, this is what the Amazon site shows and this is what the person received. I mean, that's not too far off. Not what the picture shows, very thin. Very thin yarn that separates when crocheting. Pictures make it not look as thin. Okay, you can't just go by the pictures alone. You gotta read the description and it says that it is a fingering weight, sport weight yarn. It's going to be very thin. That's just the nature of that weight of yarn. And also because it's cotton, it might tend to split. So I, I wish people knew a little bit more about that, but of course some people aren't aware of that. I think that it always needs to be listed in the description. In the case of this item, it was listed. Perfect for my sewing project, beautifully made and worked just as I had hoped it would. So the reviews, 
in my opinion, are good for this yarn. There's not many reviews there, but it looks like a good yarn choice. And for $12 for four skeins, that's a total of, what is that? Five, four, 568 <laughs> yards. I could do math. Um, that's pretty good. That's not bad. So this is by Sensi. What is the Sensi store? Oh, they have all kinds of yarn. Amigurumi yarn, macrame yarn, knitting yarn. Okay, no rabbit holes. We're, we're gone. You can go check that out in your own time, but we're not doing any rabbit holes. That's intriguing though. Okay, and we're moving on. I like this option. Yeah, see, like mercerized Giza cotton. Do you see this? Royal cotton, 100% mercerized Giza cotton. That's that Egyptian cotton that we were talking about. This looks like a great option. Let's keep on scrolling. I wanna find a particular yarn. And you know what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna make this a little faster. Cotton yarn cone. Yes, it is this. Okay, so this Shike Shike Shiki um, Sunlight 100% Long Staple Cotton Yarn Cone. Now you get, long staple is good. You want long staple. Um, Pima cotton is long staple. Egyptian Giza cotton is long staple. Now this may not be Pima cotton, but it is a long staple cotton. I saw this earlier and it looked intriguing to me. 100% long staple cotton 10 ply. Each of these cones gets you 525 yards and it seems to me that it's a sport weight fingering weight yarn. Um, but I want you guys to see these colors. Now it's a cone, which is nice. It's fun to work from a cone. You guys look at some of these like fun colors. This is one that like really struck my fancy. Um, not this one, maybe it was this one. Like little speckles. How fun are those speckles? Oh my goodness, you guys. So fun. Um, it was the color desert. Here it is. I dyed. I love this. Those funky colors in there. I don't know if those are nips or if that's some kind of a dye speckling happening there. Oh, but I love that here. Let me go to this one. How fun is that? I like the stitch definition. Look at those baubles. Looking good. I like that they show this with some garments. Each... <laughs> You know what's funny is that each color shows, I think, the same garments. Oh no. I mean, they knit the same garments with each of these yarns. Oh, it is so pretty. Okay, so this is one that I loved because I loved the color options available. Um, I like the little light speckles in there. I really love that desert colorway. I need to put that in my cart and buy that before it's gone because I love that and I would love to make a particular blanket out of that and oh, I think it's great okay um this is let's read down here pure cotton long cotton fibers not easy to pilling not easy to pilling the longer fibers the fewer fiber ends and the less pilling which minimizes okay the language translation here is kind of rough um, which lets you know that these are originating out of the country. I'm sure that these are originating in China. It's really hard to find things that are not. Um, you can, you absolutely can, but if you're concerned about that sort of thing, you definitely want to consider, um, you, know, you want to consider where it's coming from. Let's read some of the reviews. Yeah, I mean, country of origin, China. A lot of these are going to come from China. Um, All right, so some of the reviews from the US. Nice, soft, sport weight cotton yarn. Definitely garment worthy. Knitting gauge, um, three and a half millimeter needles is spot on for a sport weight. The yarn is very soft even before hand washing. There aren't any details included other than the lot number, so I wouldn't recommend machine washing or drying. Colors on my swatch did not bleed, but the colorway I purchased did not have any reds or dark colors. Okay, this is fingering not decay as stated in the description. I didn't read anything in the description about it being DK weight. I, to me, it looked more like a fingering weight. Not what I wanted, thread much too thin. Again, this is a discrepancy between what they understand about the weight of the yarn and what they're actually receiving. I made a crocheted sweater and I loved this cotton. Beautiful sweater. After washing it, it shrank, but I added inches while making it considering that so it will fit. So that's like you, you wanna knit a cotton garment maybe a little larger because it is going to shrink when you wash it. Even if you hand wash it, you just gotta be careful. Marshmallow color, I love that. Okay, 
So that is another option if you're interested in a budget-friendly, you know, cotton yarn. Now it's $23, let's slide back up here. Um, it's $23 for 525 yards. It's not cheap, um, but it's not over the top expensive. So, you know, there's a little bit of an investment there if you need a much larger amount, if you're knitting a larger garment or a blanket or something like that, but it's not horribly expensive. I like that, that's exciting to me. Okay, the last one I wanna share with you here on Amazon was, Lion Brand was actually selling it and it was a cotton bamboo blend. Let's see. Yes, cotton linen bamboo yarn by Silk City Fibers. Okay, cotton bamboo yarn by Silk City Fibers and these are the colors and I love this. Now the cone has a lot of yarn on it you have um, 1,050 yards on this entire cone, 51% cotton, 49% bamboo, but it has a ton of yardage, 1,050 yards on one of these cones for $30, $31 roughly, and the colors are really pretty. Lots of colors to choose from here. Ooh, nice, rich colors. I'm obsessed with this orangeade color, you guys. Loving that. Now, reading some of the reviews here. I love this, that's gorgeous. It has a nice sheen to it, which makes me think that that is due to the bamboo and not necessarily because the cotton is mercerized. Um, it says, I absolutely adore this yarn. It's strong and has this glorious sheen to it. It can be a dab splitting if you don't keep your tension just right, but with a little patience and practice, it's worth the perseverance. Um, it, that looks really pretty, I love the color. This product is nice. The problem was I got confused with the name of the company, Silk and I was looking for silks, not cotton. Okay, I feel like that's not a great review for a three-star rating because that doesn't have anything to do with the product itself. It does say in the description that it's bamboo and cotton. Um, it works well in my knitting machine. I usually have problems with 100% cotton, so I wanted to try cotton mixed with bamboo and it works so much better. And this is the results that she has with her knitting machine. Great price, will order again. Okay, some reviews here to take into consideration. Overall, I really love this as an option for a cotton bamboo blend. Okay, so that kind of wraps up where we are with Amazon. Let's do a quick stop over at um, Knit Picks. I'm gonna show you a couple of things over here that are available for you if you're looking for something that is cotton. The way that we're gonna do that, this is the Knit Picks homepage here. I'm going to just go down here where they have the yarn and fiber, and I'm not gonna look up any particular weight. I'm just gonna click on that, and it takes me to this section here, and if I scroll down, I can actually search by fiber content. And I'm gonna narrow this down to cotton, linen, I'll do nylon, and then we'll leave it at that. I don't wanna do anything with wool because I'm, I'm really trying to narrow that down. Dishy, okay, Dishy is kind of your, um, like that lily sugar and cream cotton yarn that I was telling you about. Dishy is a little higher quality than that, but it is really nitpicks like dishcloth cotton. But if you want something more garment friendly, you want something a little bit more luxe, let's look elsewhere. And a really good place to look is Kotlin, okay? Um, this is a new, actually, I don't think this is, I don't know how new this is, but it is a Tanguise cotton and linen blend. Um, tanguis or tanguis cotton has a very soft hand, excellent absorption, and because it's naturally white fiber, it has a really great affinity for dye. That means you're gonna get really nice, vibrant colors. The Belgian linen adds the characteristic flex and additional absorbency with very low elasticity, so you're not gonna get any stretch or resiliency here. Um, it, like it says, it alleviates stretching. Summer linen has an extended growing period, which results in longer, stronger fiber. When blended with this already strong Tanguise cotton, it makes a durable, wearable, and soft yarn. Okay, so these are really pretty um, colors that they show here. I like this palette. Let's get up close with this photo. That doesn't really do much for me. Let's look at this higher resolution photo here. It kind of looks like a wool yarn. It has a nice luster to it, nice stitch definition. It's good. Let's see what the strand looks like. That's what's nice about the Knit Picks website. You can do this a little bit more easily. A lot of those Amazon listings had this option as well. So you can kind of get up close with the fiber. Lots of colors to choose from, you guys. Loving the oranges right now. I don't know what it is, but orange, like I said, I'm having an orange moment. Machine washable, tumble dry low, it could shrink. 
This is a DK weight yarn. I like a good DK weight. Okay, so this is Kotlin by Knit Picks. Great option if you're looking for something a little bit more luxe with maybe some linen in there for your summer knits. Comfy Worsted. This is a 75% Pima cotton, that long staple high quality cotton, but there is 25% acrylic, which deviates from what we're doing today. So I'm not gonna click on this. All plant-based all the time. I guess I did click on nylon. Let's just stick with the plant-based right now. Okay, Lindy Chain. This tells me it's going to be a chain at construction or some kind of a chain, yeah. This is a chain at construction, but it contains 70% linen, 30% Pima cotton, all plant-based fibers. It says lightweight and endlessly versatile. This chain at yarn is just the thing for warm weather. The linen adds a crisp stitch definition that shows off textures while adding a lovely drape and sheen that just gets softer with every wash. 26 colors. Um, it's great for breezy tops, light accessories, and so much more. Each ball gives you 180 yards, $8 per ball. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh, great colors. Really like that. You know, I'm not a big fan of chain at yarn when it comes to wool yarns and uh, fleecy fibery yarns. Well, it's not that I'm not a big fan. I just tend not to, to venture towards those, I guess. I like them fine. It's just, I don't gra reach for those. But for a cellulose-based yarn, I kind of like the idea. I don't know. It gives it a little bit of body. It's kind of nice. Put some air in between the fibers. I wonder if it even res uh, keeps it from being splitty because it's already kind of open in the way that the structure of the yarn is. Maybe it, I don't know. I don't think it would lend itself to more splitting, to be honest. I don't know why I think that. I wonder if that's a thing. Okay, so this is called Lindy Chain. Lovely. If you're okay with, you know, acrylic fiber, if you're good with that, they have some really great options for cotton acrylic blends that you should definitely look into. Let's see, let's move back here. Okay, 60% Pima cotton, 40% Modal, natural beechwood fiber. Modal is a cellulose uh, fiber that is created from the cellulose of beechwood. So it's kind of like a rayon or a viscose. It originates from plant-based materials. Okay, Shine Sport. It says, a touch of modal, natural beechwood fiber, gives the Pima cotton a lustrous depth akin to silk, but without the cost or special care silk requires. I think any time like a viscose or bamboo uh, rayon is added to a cotton, it gives it a really nice luster. It gives it that drape that you're looking for. It just gives it that extra luxe. So this is called Shine Sport. $5 per 50 gram skein. You get 110 yards per skein. It's a sport weight yarn. Um, and I think it's a good option. You can see that it has this really nice, let's see, luster here. Yeah, that's nice. For the sake of time, I think we're not gonna dive too far into the reviews, but we do see that it gets good reviews. You know, here, I love this yarn, so soft and easy to work with. However, ordered the blush to finish off my baby blanket and it is nowhere close to the color on my screen. Several shades darker and brighter, very disappointing. That happens. Unfortunately, that's the nature of buying yarn online. So, so that definitely can be an issue. Definitely make sure you're checking dye lots and purchasing what you need for your project. Um, so you don't have, well, that's not even a dye lot issue though. That's just like an unexpected color issue. Yeah. Just, you know, just be cognizant of that. That can definitely happen. And it's disappointing when it does. Overall, this gets good reviews. It's called Shine Sport by Knit Picks and it's a great option. Billow. Okay, so Billow is 100% Pima cotton, and this is a bulky weight yarn. If you want something to be a little bit heavier, if you're knitting a chunkier item, and it's uh, but it's for cotton yarn or it's for summer or whatever your reason, this is a bulky weight option. And it's really interesting to me. The yarn looks beautiful. It looks very luxe, luscious, and soft. It doesn't say anything about mercerization here. I'm not sure if this is mercerized cotton. It just says that it's 100% Pima cotton. Here's what the strand of yarn looks like. It kind of has like a thick and thin texture to it. And then here is what the fabric, yeah, this is definitely a thick and thin kind of slub, not slubby, but thick and thin um, yarn. So you're going to get this texture when you knit a stockinette fabric. Stitch definition might not be great if you're looking for something with a lot of different intricate stitches, but this looks like a really fun yarn to work with. I love that rustic, slubbiness of the yarn. Okay, so that is 120 yards per 100 grams for $8.99. It comes in lots of colors. Really, really pretty yarn if you're looking for a bulky weight cotton yarn and it's 100% Pima cotton. 
It, there's also, I mean, there's a mercerized lace weight cotton here, which looks interesting to me. Really fine yarn. We're talking lace weight yarn, thread weight yarn. Um, those two things aren't really necessarily the same thing, but this is a step below fingering weight. Those colors are gorgeous. Um, this is that mercerized cotton. So you have that treatment done to it to give it that sheen and durability and strength. And it comes in a lot of really beautiful colors. You could pair colors together here if you wanted to create a really nice marled yarn by holding two different colors together. You could hold the same color together to give yourself a heavier weight yarn if you don't want to knit with just a lace weight yarn. But these are really pretty options for a nice 100% mercerized cotton yarn. This is what the stitch definition looks like. Beautiful. Love that. The reviews are good. 16 customer reviews, five star ratings. This person said, two stars. Not all Curio 10 yarns are of the same thickness. Be careful if you're using different colors in the same project. I ordered, I ordered Curio number 10 in various colors at the same time, but now I cannot continue with my work. The copper is so much thinner than the bare ones, which makes it difficult to keep motifs of different colors and similar sizes. Okay, interesting. Something to consider the weight is going to vary. I love the color and softness of this number three crochet thread. I'm crocheting hearts to hang on a Valentine's Day tree. The thread is easy to use with my clover crochet hook. Otherwise, people really like this. Vibrant colors, great yarn, very satisfied. We'll definitely order more. Okay, so that's Curio number three by Knit Picks. I'm wondering if they have other Curio colors. You guys, there's really lots of options. If I were you and you're looking for a nice uh, plant-based fiber, I would check out Knit Picks right away. I feel like um, they have lots of variety. You get great colors. The Knit Picks is known for their vibrant array of colors. So I think it's a really great place to go. So that's Knit Picks. If you wanna make it quick, just go to their yarn and fiber link here, scroll down and just narrow it down to cotton. You can see me doing this off to the side of the screen. Linen, natural. Actually, I would unclick natural because you're gonna get fleece fiber in there also and you wanna try to narrow it down. So cotton and linen. I don't see bamboo offered here. Um, you can add nylon if you want, but if you add cotton and linen, you're gonna really narrow it down to those plant-based fibers. And I think there's lots of great options here. Hopefully that gave you some ideas. Okay, so now before we um, get too carried away, let's venture off really quick. I'm not gonna spend too much time on Etsy. I just want you to know that you can find some really great plant-based fibers on Etsy, along with all kinds of other yarns on Etsy. And it's a great place to go to support some small businesses. So here we are on Etsy. I'm gonna type in plant-based yarns, yarbs, yarns, and let's see what we come up with. Okay, this is a hemp yarn. It's always a good, oh, I saw this earlier. So this is hand dyed yarn. This is the Librarian colorway. This is gorgeous, you guys. Look at these colors. This is right, to, if you know anything about fiber for the people, my hand dyed yarn business, you know that these kind of colors speak to me. I love that. And what's great about this is this is either a tensile or a bamboo yarn. That's what this listing is for. Okay, you can get fingering weight tensile, DK weight tensile, and fingering or DK weight bamboo yarn here. These photos are shown on either. They all look the same to me, so I don't think you're gonna get a huge variation between. How gorgeous is that? If you want some really luxury plant-based fiber, you want it to have that hand-dyed look, look no further, this is gorgeous. Bear in mind, this yarn is dyed, I believe, in Sweden. Yeah, it's by Peacock Yarns, which is based in Sweden. Her yarns are beautiful. She has mercerized cotton yarn as well. Man, she's doing amazing work with these plant-based fibers absolutely gorgeous so that is peacock yarns based in sweden gorgeous colors if you want some really nice luxury plant-based fibers this i think you can buy this off etsy as well so you can google this and purchase this off etsy but when i was looking earlier i found this it's queensland coastal cotton and it comes in these really nice um kind of hanks of yarn or skeins of yarn really beautiful colors i love the way these look you can see all of those different plies. I'm wondering if this is a 10 ply construction. 10 ply. 100% um, cotton, uh, 170 meters per 100 grams. 
Its country of origin is India. So now you can purchase this for $6.55 um, from this particular Etsy shop. They don't have all of the colors available. It looks like they have lots available of each color. And the this particular shop, Mego Workshop, is based out of Australia. So I know a lot of you are in Australia. Oh, and they have some cute stuff. <gasps> I like the look of their shop. Okay. Okay, loving this. 100% hemp fine ice yarn. 100% hemp yarn. Okay, we haven't seen any hemp. This one's low in stock. They might not have really much going on here, but it is something to look at if you're into that kind of yarn. I will tell you though, it is not the softest. It's very prickly. You might not like the way it feels against your skin. Um, so you have to be really wary of that. So you might see something here and get it in the mail and find that it's just not for you. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody mentions that in the reviews. It really just depends on what you're using it for. But I don't think you'll ever see anything here about softness because it's just not a very soft yarn. It's hard to narrow it down here. I'm wondering, um, I'm gonna just take this, I'm gonna do cotton, bamboo. I'm narrowing this down on the filters. I went to the filter, I'm going all the way down here to fiber type, bamboo, cotton, linen. I mean, lyocell is the same as tensile, even though it's listed separately. Okay, a Ramy is, is a plant-based fiber as well. Okay, let's see. Oh, that narrows it down nicely. Okay, so now we're seeing a lot of just your basic plant-based yarn. We have some bamboo linen yarn. These are really nice solid colors. Treasure Goddess is the name of this particular store. Bamboo linen yarn, spring green, fingering weight yarn. This is nice. Very pretty. You can see there's lots of linen in there. Let's see what that, um, pretty colors. Let's see what that breakdown is in terms of the fiber content. Yeah, 70% bamboo, 30% linen. Nice. 100 grams, 437 yards, your classic fingering weight skein. Great reviews. If you want to try something that has some really fantastic drape, this is a great way to go. Lovely colors, lovely luster, pricey yarn. Again, it's a hand-dyed yarn. That's going to happen. This is Treasure Goddess. Okay, let's go back here to plant-based yarns. Eco-friendly eucalyptus yarn. What is this? Eco-friendly, 100% eucalyptus yarn, silk smooth, sustainable lyocell tensile. Okay, so this is tensile yarn, and the tensile is derived from the eucalyptus tree, I'm assuming. Gorgeous, eco-friendly, biodegradable yarn from Devon-based Jolly Good Yarn. This silky smooth ball is made from the pulp of natural eucalyptus, which is then spun into the ball you see here. Eucalyptus yarn is light, sustainable, and breathable, and is ideal for knitting and crochet projects like sweaters, dresses, shirts, and shawls. This is really nice. I've never seen anything like this and it's really pretty. I'd love to get a little closer there. It kind of is like a tape yarn. That's interesting. It has that kind of like tape construction. Ooh, you guys, I really like that. I'm knitting my Eileen bag right now and I'm uh, pairing a fine weight yarn with another fine weight yarn that happens to be a tape kind of construction. You can watch podcast episodes to see what I'm talking about. This is kind of like that. And I really do, as I'm working with it, I really like that, that kind of structure. Now this is much heavier than what I'm using. This is a worsted or Aran weight yarn, but I think that's a really interesting construction uh, or a structure of yarn, put up of yarn. Is that like tape construction? Oh, I like that. I really like that. Let's see, I'm gonna favorite this yarn shop or follow this yarn shop. They're in the UK. Ooh, ooh, bad news. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. I mean, you should definitely, and I will link to it down below. But for what we're doing here, I like that. Eco-friendly, 100% eucalyptus yarn. All right, I'm gonna back here out of Etsy. We're gonna um, just head back over to woolneedleshands.com as our base of operations here. Great place to look if you'd like to help support the channel. We have a merch uh, shop and all of that here. You can see Wool Needles Hands merch. Why not take the time to do a little plug, y'all, if you'd like to help support the work that we're doing here at Wool Needles Hands. But I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the home here. Um, those were some places that you can find plant-based fibers. I had fun doing this. I know I'm gonna be sitting down and doing some shopping myself because there 
are some really great options there. Okay, now really quickly, I wanna show you the Ravelry bundles that I have because I would love for you to check out some of the options I have here if you need some ideas for summer knits, things to knit with those plant-based yarns. Now you can head over here and I'll link to this down below for all of my Ravelry favorite bundles. You can see them all here. I have them all categorized for you. I've done pattern rundown videos for several of these favorites bundles, which if I've done a video for it and you head over to the bundle, you can find the link for that video in the details section of that particular bundle. But for right now, I'm gonna head down to my summer knits bundle, which is down here at the bottom. This is my favorite bundle for summer knits. There are 42 patterns here and it's growing all the time as I find new things that kind of fit the bill for summer knits. If you'd like some ideas of some things that you can knit using those plant-based fibers, much of what you see here is absolutely suitable for plant-based fibers, if not all of it. Um, lots of great things here that are um, nice and airy and lightweight and you can substitute out whatever yarn it's calling for for a nice plant-based fiber loving everything here. Some of my real quick go-tos that I'm really interested in. This top right here is a new one that to me, new to me, by Jill Karina Bow. It's called My Teaser and it is gorgeous. I love this part. It's like a t-shirt, like a lace weight t-shirt, but it's so much more than that. It's got a nice stockinette body, but a real deep yoke that goes beyond the sleeve separation. I'm obsessed with this, you guys. And I think it would be fantastic for a plant-based fiber. In fact, I, I wanna say that it is that sample was being knit in a plant-based fiber, but it says here, if you use a linen bamboo or 100% cotton yarn, you might need the three millimeter needle all over the garment. So she's giving you some information um, relevant to that, but I am loving this for a summer knit. I'm also really loving this. And I was thinking about this blanket for that um, kind of that cone of cotton yarn that had those really pretty speckles on it that I showed you. I love this blanket and I feel like it would be gorgeous in that really pretty speckly neutral yarn. This is a no pearl ribbed blanket and I wanna know more about that. It's gorgeous. It looks like a really nice and cozy, wow, hello, function, cozy knit. So I'm loving that. So what I would encourage you to do, instead of going one by one through each of these patterns, because a summer knits, things to knit with plant-based yarn rundown is coming, um, I would encourage you to check this out to give yourself a little bit of a preview. Lots of these, if not all of these, can be knit using plant-based fiber, and there's some really great options in here. And like I said, it's growing all the time. So definitely check this bundle out. All of the, I mean, come on, the Rota jumper, it has to be next on my to knit list in terms of like, lacy sweaters, but I'm loving it. Check this out, great place to go. So I enjoyed this. I am excited to kind of continue diving down that rabbit hole of plant-based yarns because there's a lot to choose from. And you guys, way beyond um, what I showed you today, some of those really great yarn companies that you know and love also have fantastic options for plant-based yarns. I know Quince & Co has a really great plant-based fiber. I know that Wool & The Gang does. I know We Are Knitters has some options. Um, what is the other, uh, what is it? Um, I know Knitting for Olive has them. So all of those companies, they have them as well. And definitely check out your Indie Dyers because they feature plant-based options as well, which pay attention to the next Fiber for the People shop update coming in June because that's exactly what I will be offering. So there's lots of options for you guys out there. Use this video as a resource. It's, it's here for you. It's just a way for me to do the legwork for you so that when you go to hunt down some plant-based fibers, you kind of know how to do it, what to look for, where to go. Thank you so much for taking the time to shop with me today guys if you took value from this video or enjoyed yourself at all please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon so you can be notified anytime i upload new content here on the channel until i see you again for wednesday's episode of the midweek ramble happy knitting happy making happy whatever it is that you're doing take care be well and i will see you soon bye